So it starts, I think it's right to set a light target. So you just keep up in and up in the standards of smashing like button. So today the target is 175 likes, but I know you're going to smash it. So anyway, drop a like to help me reach that target. Let's get into the video. Do you like spending money on overpriced FIFA points? Of course you don't. Well, head over to UFIFA where you can buy cheaper and reliable coins after price capping. And don't forget to use the discount code DUT at checkout to make them even cheaper. The link will be in the description below. If you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for daily FIFA Ultimate Team content. What is going on, lads? I am XTO, and today we've got something pretty different. I had a video planned, but no, I got interrupted with a message on Skype, and it was a really good idea, so I'm going to tell you the whole entire story. I got interrupted by watching a series. What series, you ask? Is it Suits, Breaking Bad? No, it was Fake Taxi. Well, that's got weird very quickly. But anyway, he sent me a message while I was watching my favourite TV sh series, which makes me seem like a creep. But anyway, he sent me a message, and we were talking about the FIFA 16 menu he made me. I congratulated him, and he was like, but on this page, on the play page, you used a different one to the two I gave you. And I was like, did I? So I went through and looked through my pictures, and as you can see on the screen now, yeah, I used a different one. As you can see, bottom left, it did have which play with legends and had newer legends on it. But now, there's Generations on it, and that was the one I didn't use. And fair play to him, Generations is a pretty good idea. And he was like, yeah, you didn't use it in the end, why not? And I was just like, I don't actually know, but... Generations could be a really good idea if a EA implemented it properly. And he's like, yeah, I agree, that's why I've done a whole load of graphics to show you what EA should do. And I was like, really? Yeah, he did. So instead of the play with legends option, we now have the generations option. And like I said, he's done the graphics for it. So if you click on it, this is what you're going to see on screen now. So yeah, me and Brycey have our ideas we combine it together for this actual generations option and new game mode and ultimate team. And he, by the way, his link will be in the description, so check him out. And also, we want to hear your opinions, so like, leave comments. If they bring generations into it, what should they do? Make sure to watch your whole video first so you don't comment something I've already said. Right, before I tell you all of my ideas, I'm just going to run through the team because this team, it looks pretty awesome. Let's go through it. Pepe Reina in goal, 90 rated. I know, that sounds pretty weird, but he was pretty good for Liverpool. Ashley Cole, 88 rated. Obviously, because he's debatably one of the best left-backs in the world. Not anymore, but at the time, he definitely was. The two centre-backs, they both had over 80 pace. Colo Torre and Joseph Yoba had 84 pace. Glenn Johnson, I don't even know why he's in the team. Hopefully, he wasn't the best left uh, right back in the Premier League that time. Or the Premier League would be in trouble. Mikel Arteta, that 89 card, was actually an informed card. But he's been given a gold. I'm going to tell you why, because it's one of the ideas. Gareth Bale on the left mid. This is when he started peaking. I remember this season was the one where he scored a hat-trick against Inter Milan. Cristiano Ronaldo actually on the right wing. He was just unbelievable. Just best player in the world. Oh my god, I've done it again. I'm probably going to start Messi versus Ronaldo argument. Oh wow. Then to finish it, we've got Gerard at Cam. This is like the last couple of years when he played an attacking role before he finally got moved back. Then you've got Rooney and Torres. When Rooney used to be a striker on FIFA... And Torres, when, when, basically when they used to be really, really good. Rooney's still a decent player, but nowhere near what he used to be. And you could say the same for Torres, but he is nowhere near as good as he used to be. Like, you need to emphasise that. He's just lost it. Right, for this video, we need to think like we are EA. Use our brains, use EA's brains, and just combine them together. Anyway, first idea. If we actually have our Generations team, just ignore for a second how we got them. Do you do Generations versus Generations, or can you play with Generations versus current teams? I'm going to give you my opinion in a second, but personally, I think Generations versus Generations only, because it's just going to be a mess. You'll be in a cup final of a team, and there could just be a year like FIFA 10, where every player was too high rated. Yeah, and you would just get absolutely destroyed, because there were players like, I can't, I can't even think of an example. But there were players who weren't that good, who were like 89 rated, 90 rated. Main example, that free keeper was 89 rated, and he was shocking. But if they actually do that and let you do Generations versus the current FIFA, would it work? We need to think. Personally, I don't think it would work, but it'd be a pretty cool feature to have. The second thing we need to bring up is, how are we going to obtain these players? Firstly, I think, if you played FIFA Ultimate Teams before, they're in your club already, and if you go on the web app, you can actually look at your Generations and just... Have a little flashback and just remember the good old days when FIFA was good. And look at your past teams like your FIFA 11, 12, 13, etc. teams. If you have them in your club from like past FIFAs, yeah, you have them. And yeah, you can play with them. But if you don't have them, 
what is the way we should do it. But first, let's ignore that way. If you have the players already, bam, you can whack them in the team. But personally, I think you can only have a team of that FIFA year. So if you want to do generations, you can only have a FIFA 11, X11. You can't have a FIFA 11 team but with two FIFA 12 strikers. I think just keep it one FIFA. Right, there is one problem with this though. If you never played past FIFAs because you didn't have the console, or you generally just weren't into FIFA, then you wouldn't have these players in your generations club. So the idea I just said you can't play. So I'm thinking there should be challenges or ways to actually obtain these past players. I'm thinking maybe the retro tournaments, like you play a tournament with your main club, and if you win you can get a pack or maybe a starting 11 of a generations, like it's a generation pack. So maybe they give you a FIFA 12 starting 11 if you win the actual tournament. Yeah, something like that. But I think if they actually add it into FIFA, just first of all, they should give everyone just a normal gold X starting 11 for every FIFA. So when you select your squads, you'll automatically have a FIFA 11 one of just random gold 75 rated players, FIFA 12 1, 13, etc. Right, I didn't go into too much detail because I really want you to get involved in Interactive because it could potentially be a second part of the video of your ideas. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below your ideas and just thoughts of what they should do with it or how they're thinking and what they need to do because if one of the points I said just doesn't sue EA, let me know. Anyway, if we can hit 175 likes again, that would mean the world. I've been Xtenia and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching today's video. I really do hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button. I've been Xtenia and I'll see you all next time.